Aloha. So I'm gonna do this as a just pre-recorded video. We tried to go live and the feed was hideous. So I apologize uh, for that. Nothing I could do. Uh, but what I wanna talk to you guys about is, um, are your goals big enough? And according to the 10X rule, a lot of us aren't making big enough goals. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about kind of what we're doing um, and what we could be doing better. All right. So the 10X rule is written by Grant Cardone. And I don't know if you know who Grant Cardone is. Uh, but he is like this kick-ass motivator, but he started out in sales and like real estate and he's kind of a big deal, but only because he decided he would 10x his goals. And because he did that, um, he's found great success. Now, let's be clear, success is whatever you set forth to achieve and you achieve, okay? So that is success. So whatever that looks like to you, all right? So whether that's monetary, whether that's relationships, whether that is philanthropy, whatever it is that you want to achieve, okay? Uh, your success has to be based on your ideals, and what you believe to be success for you. But that being said, is Grant Cardone is really great about telling you don't do things or say things that would be throttling, that is going to throttle you, that's going to throttle your goals. So when you say, oh, I just want to be comfortable, or I would be happy if I just, okay? Because right there, you're saying your, your goals aren't big. They're not big enough. If you say, I'll, I just want to, you're not really putting yourself out there. You're not really saying, I want to accomplish this, okay? So whatever it is that you want to accomplish, 10 exit. So I'm going to tell you a little something that I'm doing. I am very um, uh, kind of uh, objective oriented, okay? So if I have an objective in mind, if I can see what it's going to look like at the end, um, and if I have like a something to achieve, right? I work harder towards something like that, like a goal, like a real true goal. If I just say, oh, I want to lose 10 pounds, that's not a, that's not a um, inspiring enough goal for me to say, oh, I want to lose 10 pounds or 50 pounds or whatever. Like losing the weight isn't enough for me to say, so for me, what I need to do and what I've done is I've now said, I want to be in the kind of shape that I can enter a bikini contest and I'm going to give myself a year to get there. Wow, that sounds really big. That's a really big lofty goal. All right, especially considering the shape that I'm in right now, okay? Yeah, rounds a shape. <laughs> but it's really lofty, right? But I know that if I give myself something like that to look forward to, and I put forth the activity to achieve that, and not just the activity to achieve that, but like, I want a 10 exit. I'm in my mind, I want to be in the kind of shape in one year where I could win a bikini physique competition. How amazing is that? Now, 
I'm going to put forth the activity to achieve that. And if I fall short, okay. But what kind of shape am I going to be in in a year from now? Even if I fall short of that goal, I'm going to be in ridiculous shape. So make your goals lofty. What is the point of dreaming if you're not going to dream big? It shouldn't be simply attained. You should have to put forth work. And that's the other thing is we need to do the activities to meet those goals. But guess what? 10 extra activities too. All right? If you think it's going to take 10 minutes a day to to achieve something, work on it for an hour. Think about what that will do if you start 10xing your activities towards your 10x goals. It's going to be fire. It's going to be fire. So I'm going to share with you these basic series of mistakes that people make when setting out to achieve their goals. Now, this is per Grant Cordone, and I think that this is really powerful. So miss targeting by setting objectives too low, and you don't allow for enough motivation when you do that, okay? So number one is miss targeting by setting objectives that are too low, and not allowing enough correct motivation. Next is severely underestimating what it will take in terms of actions, resources, money, and energy to accomplish the target. All right? So severely underestimating what it will take in terms of actions, resources, money, and energy to accomplish the target. Spending too much time competing and not enough time dominating. All right? Spending too much time competing and not enough time dominating. So, and then underestimating the amount of ad- 